Hey there everyone, welcome to another video of Fox and White. So in this video, we're going to learn how to implement bottom navigation bar using Kotlin as the backend language. So let me just demonstrate what we're going to get by the end of the video. So if you can see on the emulator, I have this app opened and on the bottom we have three icons, home, profile and settings. Home fragment is already open. So if I tap on this profile button, the profile fragment opens up. And similarly, if I tap on settings, the setting fragment opens up. So this is what we're going to get by the end of this video. So this is the basic illustration of how to implement the bottom navigation bar. So if you want to implement the same to your end application, make sure we watch this video till the end. So without much ado, let's get started. So guys, if you're into this channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button and press the bell notification icon for receiving notification of the upcoming videos. And by the end of the video, if you like the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button as well. So let's start with the front end part. So this is my main activity. So let me just delete this text view. We need this. So let's first add the bottom navigation view, right? And then we need the frame layout for our fragments. right so we are going to constrain the bottom navigation view horizontally to the parent and the bottom to parent as well and for the frame layout we are going to constrain it horizontally to the parent and the top to the parent as well now let us just go to the split window so for this bottom navigation let's set the height to wrap content Right, you can see it has taken up the height automatically and let's just set the width as 0 dp. Let's just set the height and width of the frame layout to 0 dp as well. And let's just constrain the bottom of this to the top of the navigation view. So we are pretty much done with this. Just one thing we need to give it an ID. So let's just call it frame layout, right? And it already has an idea of bottom navigation view. So let's just keep this in that way only. Now for the icons, we are going to need three icons. So we are using vector assets so new vector asset. So let's just search for home. Let me just quickly add these assets. So okay, we are done with the vector assets. Now what we need is we need the uh, menu bar. So Android resource directory, just type M here. So we'll get menu resource directory. Let's just create this So new menu source file. So let's just name it as bottom nav bar or just name it as bottom nav only, right? So, okay we are going to add three menu items so one two and three right so let's just set the title of this as home and let us just give it id as well And we are going to set the icons for this as well. Right, we are done with the navigation bar. Now let us just set it to our bottom navigation view. The menu, bottom nav. So here we can see that the bottom navigation bar has shown up, right? It is looking quite good. We have all the three icons, home profile and settings. Now let us just add three fragments so we can uh, show those fragments with the help of these button. So let me just quickly do that. Right. 
so we have got these three fragments right the home fragment profile and settings so let's just uh, give it a basic design so okay we are done with the fragments i have just given it the name and the background so we can identify the different fragments when we tap on those buttons right so now we are done with the front end part now let us just go to the back end code so first let me just enable the view binding let's just sync the project so okay the sync has been completed now let us go to main activity and Let's just get it done with the view binding. Alright, so we have implemented the view binding. Now let us just create a method to replace the frame layout, right? So here you can see we have this frame layout. So we need to replace this frame layout with the all the fragments right so let us just create a method and name it as replace fragment so it will take the object of the fragment as an argument so this is how we replace the frame layout with the fragment right i don't think that anything needs to be explained here so we have used the fragment manager and then we have made the transaction to replace the frame layout with the fragment that will get as an argument in this method so now let us just implement the on click events on our menu items so for that we will use binding dot bottom navigation view dot set on click listener right set on item selected list so now we are going to use when it dot item id and we're going to create three cases so r dot id dot move so if this is the case we are going to call the method replace fragment and we are going to pass the object of our home fragment class right similarly we are going to do it with other two methods if it is uh, dot id dot profile And then we have to implement the else as well so we are just going to keep it as empty block and we are going to return true here right i think i have messed up a little bit with the brackets if i'm not wrong mm -hmm. here we need to return true right so that this item selected has been registered so one more thing whenever the app has been launched for the first time we want to show the home fragment so we are going to uh, so we are going to call this method inside on create right and we are going to pass the object of home fragment here right 
so now we are done with all the things that we need to do i guess one more thing it's not important i just like to do it so if you just go to i'll set it to no action bar so that it looks a bit nice so let me just install this app to my emulator and see what we are getting so let me just close this Let's just build this app and run on our emulator right so okay our app has been launched here you can see the home fragment has been showed by default so if i just tap on profile the profile fragment opens up similarly with the settings so i guess we have successfully implemented this feature to our android application so i hope that you guys have understood the code but still if you have any doubt you can always ask me in the comment section or you can dm me on instagram the instagram username will be there on your screen right now and if you like the video don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and in case you're new to this channel make sure to hit that subscribe button and press the bell notification icon so that is it for today's video see you another video bye